Hello, I'm Jace Kazire with Denison Yachting here at Palm Harbor Marina in West Palm Beach, Florida. Here to introduce my latest listing, Kavita. Kavita is a 2006 88 foot Ferretti, four staterooms, all with in suite heads and a day head on the main deck. It's a beamy boat with just over 22 foot beam. You really feel that when you walk into the master stateroom. Two of my favorite exterior areas of this yacht are the open flybridge and the garage. The thing I like about the garage is when it's opened up, it doubles as a beach club, lots of space. You can put some beach chairs out there, swimming, diving, some umbrellas. And then in the garage itself, plenty of room for bikes, scuba tanks, you name it. With the luxury, the volume, with the price tag under $2 million, this yacht will keep you entertained all summer long. I'm gonna hand it off to Ryan now, let him show you around the rest of the boat. I hope to hear from you soon, thank you. We're gonna kick off today's walkthrough of this 88 Ferretti up on the flybridge all the way aft where we find her tenders. As you see her, she's equipped with a Williams 385 turbo jet tender and a Yamaha three-seater wave runner. These are deployed with the help of a Marquip davit found just outboard. Immediately forward is an open lounging space with removable furniture currently set up to accommodate six. And then from here, we step under the hardtop, which has an electric sunroof. Set into the top side of the hardtop, we see her satellite domes as well as a pair of open array radars. Now, let's turn our attention to the wet bar that's found on the starboard side, positioned below a Sunbright TV. Here, we find a sink, a grill, an isotherm fridge, and additional refrigeration in a wine cooler and a locker just aft. Forward of the wet bar is a U-shaped lounging area with padded backrests that's right next to a hatch with access down into the main foyer. This is the perfect place for a few guests to join the captain when you're underway. Looking forward to the port side, let's take a look at her upgraded upper helm. This area is equipped with a pair of Raymarine hybrid touch displays. Everything you need to run the boat is found here, including bow and stern thruster controls, autopilot, and a chain counter. Facing the helm are twin pomponette helm chairs for your captain and mate. As you can see, on such a flat day, there is no better place to be than running this boat from the upper helm, surrounded by friends and family. From here, let's jump down to the swim platform. This area is finished in teak and is a great way to get on and off of a floating dock. A massive transom door proudly serves as the perfect spot for the name board of the boat. This swings open to reveal a teak beach where you can set out chairs, umbrellas, and water toys. And just a few steps down from this oversized dive platform is the garage. In addition to offering you a ton of storage, access to the engine room is found on the port side. Powering this 88 Ferretti are twin MTU 16V2000 engines that combine for a total of 4,000 horsepower. A testament to the size of this boat is the fact that there's actually a control room located just forward of the engine room. And here, your engineer can monitor all your ship systems, and it also offers them a place to do some repairs. When this beautiful 88 is underway, she cruises at around 20 knots with a top speed of 25 knots. Just look at the way that this boat cuts through the water. It's hard to imagine a more perfect way to see this boat in action. The steps found to port and starboard of her Euro transom bring us up to a teak finished aft deck. Here we find a round centerline table with seating for six. Additional seating is found aft, which is offered by a pair of benches that are separated by a large storage locker. Turning our attention outboard, we see that flanking the aft deck are electric cap stands and cleats that make up her deck gear. Forward of this on each side are boarding gates for when you're boarding from the dock via boarding stairs. 
A really useful feature found forward on the port side of the aft deck is a docking station that has bow and stern thruster controls, throttles, as well as start and stop functions for your engines. From here, let's take a set of stairs that we find on the port side, which lead us down into the crew area. At the foot of these stairs, we arrive first in the crew lounge with a dinette and a kitchenette. This area separates a pair of crew cabins. Each of these crew accommodations features two berths, one of which is a Pullman that can be hidden away when running the boat with a small crew. In each cabin, there's plenty of storage and an ensuite with a wet head. Now let's jump overhead back to the aft deck and make our way forward into the salon. The aft half of the salon is the living area. Here we find seating for eight guests offset to the port side. Looking to the starboard side aft, we see not only isotherm cold storage, but an electrically actuated TV that raises and lowers at the touch of a button. Long, stretching windows run up and down both sides of the salon, letting in natural light and constantly refreshing the space. In the forward part of the salon is where we find the formal dining with seating for eight. This seating wraps around a high-gloss teak table, and there's plenty of storage found in the salon, like here on the starboard side where there's storage for your dinnerware. Continuing forward from here and up three steps brings us to the main deck foyer. If we turn our attention inboard, we see a set of steps that lead from the main deck foyer up to the flybridge, which we've already visited. And this brings us to the galley, which we enter on the port side. This area is equipped with a four burner cooktop that sits just above an oven. There's also a microwave found over here on the forward bulkhead. Looking aft, we see a refrigerator and freezer. And then outboard on the port side, there's a pair of stainless sinks and a side deck access door. And then right next to this is secondary helm access, which is our next stop. Similar to the upper helm, but more robust, the lower helm features an upgraded Raymarine electronics package. Here we see a pair of hybrid touch displays that are right next to a ship system display. Looking just below, we see a pair of MTU engine monitors. And just to the left, we see the searchlight controls. On the right side of the engine monitors are the engine controls, chain counter, as well as bow and stern thruster joysticks. In addition to an electric helm seat, there's a centerline bench and a wheelhouse nook on the starboard side. This is L-shaped and features a small tabletop. This is a great place for the captain to meet with the crew and put together the day's plan. Facing aft and stepping out of the wheelhouse, we move back into the foyer. From this perspective, we can see that this 88 is equipped not only with a day head, but a side access door on the starboard side. Now let's head down this staircase and turn aft and take a look at the owner's suite. The master features an athwart ship king berth that faces a huge whole side window, the shape of which is unmistakably Ferretti. As long as the sun is out, this area is flooded with sunlight and is the perfect way to escape the direct sunlight itself while still reaping all the benefits. Forward of the whole side window is where we find most of the master's storage. And then facing aft of the berth, we see a curving L-shaped settee that sits below a TV and a Bose sound system. Continuing our movement counterclockwise, we arrive at a desk in a vanity area just before checking out the ensuite. The master stateroom features a his and hers layout with a vanity and a head on each side. These areas are separated not only by a large shower stall, but also a jacuzzi tub that sits below a whole side window. Stepping into the hers side, we see that the difference in here is that this part of the ensuite features a bidet. Now we're gonna leave the owner's suite and we're gonna pass forward into the starboard side and check out one of two mirrored guest staterooms that feature twin berths. And for those trips when you have not only the kids but the grandkids on board, there's a Pullman berth that can fold down that's found inboard. And then facing forward, we see that this stateroom along with every other stateroom found on board features an ensuite with a shower stall. Directly across the hall from the starboard stateroom is the second of two mirrored staterooms, again with side-by-side -side berths and a drop-down Pullman.
our final stateroom is found all the way forward in the companionway, the bow VIP. This stateroom features an aft-facing queen berth with storage and seating flanking both sides of the bed. On the starboard side, there's a walk-in closet. And then looking to the port side, we see the entrance into the ensuite. Our final stop on today's walkthrough is directly overhead of the VIP, the foredeck. These wide walkways come in handy when your crew are moving lines and fenders forward and aft. The key feature up here for guests is a large centerline sun pad with backs that can ratchet up, allowing you to sit or to lay. And finally, immediately forward of the sun pad, we arrive at the ground tackle. Here we see a twin La Ferenz windlass setup that draws her anchors up into stainless anchor chutes. On behalf of the entire team at Denison Yachting, thank you so much for joining us on today's walkthrough of this 2006 88 Ferretti. If you have any other questions about the boat, or if you'd like to see her in person, you can reach out to Jace at any time.